हेलो फ्रेंड्स बेसिकली ये वीडियो बनाने का जो मेरा पर्पस था इसमें इसमें मैं आपको बताऊंगा हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ओवरऑल इक्विपमेंट इफिशेंसी दिस इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स फॉर द इंडस्ट्रीज एज वेल एज मशीन परफॉर्मेंस सो इफ वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस बाय स्टेप टू स्टेप सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट दिस वन सो द फर्स्ट वन इज कैलकुलेटिंग ओई बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू नो वट इज एक्चुअली ओई so in this oe there are three parameter one is availability one is availability second one is performance and third one is quality okay so we will discuss uh, one by one what is availability and what is performance and what is quality okay so by this uh, three parameter we can calculate oe so we will discuss first availability what is availability so availability takes into the downtime loss means suppose that koi aapki ek machine hai you are using one machine and uh, there are some operation time and some production time theek hai to operation time it means uh, the actual time uh, machine is running uh, Uh, how to calculate uh, availability in this uh, um, uh, availability in uh, downtime loss is equal to uh, operation operating time availability is equal to operating time you see this availability operating time operating means actual machine functioning time and plant production time so matlab you suppose that hamara 8 ghante ka plant down time tha aap plant tha hamara production ka lekin machine mein kya hai 1 hour ka issue tha और वन आवर की इशू वैसे जो ऑपरेटिंग टाइम रहेगा दैट विल बी एट माइनस वन इज टू सेवन तो सेवन इज ऑपरेटिंग टाइम तो सेवन डिवाइड बाय प्लान टाइम इज कैलकुलेशन कैलकुलेशन बाय द इज कॉल्ड अवेलेबिलिटी वी विल अंडरस्टैंड बाय द एग्जांपल आल्सो सो लेट्स कम देन व्हाट इज द परफॉर्मेंस परफॉर्मेंस एक्चुअली इज टेक इन द अकाउंट स्पीड लॉस एंड इज कैलकुलेटेड इज इक्वल टू आइडियल साइकिल टाइम जो भी मशीन होगा उसे एक आइडियल साइकिल टाइम होगा उस आइडियल साइकिल टाइम को हम उसके ऑपरेटिंग टाइम और डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ पीसेस में टोटल पीसेस कितने प्रोड्यूस किए उसने उसके हिसाब से परफॉर्मेंस निकाल सकते हैं सो आइडियल आइडियल साइकिल टाइम इज द मिनिमम साइकिल टाइम दैट यू प्रोसेस कैन बी एक्सपेक्टेड टू अचीव इन द ऑप्टिमल सर्कम इट इज समाइम्स कॉल्ड डिजाइन साइकिल टाइम so you can say in the ideal cycle time to do the design cycle time theoretically cycle time or name plate capacity okay and the run time is a reciprocal of cycle time performance can also be calculated the performance is equal to total pieces you can also calculate total pieces divided by operating time okay and this total calculate total divided by the ideal run rate we will understand how to calculate this by the um, example performance capped at 100% to ensure that if an error is made in specifying the ideal cycle time or ideal run rate the effect on oe will be limited okay so let's talk about uh, quality the quality takes into the quality loss and is calculated as a quality is equal to good pieces number of total pieces okay so if you produce 100 pieces total 100 pieces and in that 100 pieces 50 pieces is on uh, 90 pieces only corrected okay to so 90 90 divided by total pieces is called to quality and after that after calculating availability performance and quality okay then it's come out calculation about the oe if you multiply all the three parameters this is the availability performance and quality okay so it is very important to recognize improve oe and uh, into it is not it is very important to recognize that improving oe is not the only objective take a look at the following data for the two production shift okay so you can understand why this data see here the availability shift one in 90% performance is 95% and quality is 99% okay so you clearly see the 85% is total oe 
and here see the uh, if, if availability is uh, 95 percent it is 95 percent and quality is 96 percent it is also we come is 86 percent so you see these parameters is very important role for the calculating OE. So you you again read this this quotation what he is saying. It is important that recognize that improving OE is not the only objective. Take a look only not a objective. Okay. So further we have to come down. See. It may appear that the second shift with the performing better than the first shift since its OE is higher very few companies however would want to trade a 5% increasing availability for a 3.5% decline in quality the beauty of OE is not that it gives you one magic number it's that it gives you three number which are all useful individually as your situation changes from day to day and it help you visualize performance in simple turn a very practical simplification example of calculation OE so now we can uh, understand uh, how to calculate the OE by this example you see the table below contain hypothetical shift data to be used for a complete OE calculation starting with the calculation of OE factor of the availability performance and quality. Note that the same unit of the measurement in this case minutes and pieces are the constantly used throughout the calculation. Okay. So see here I am taking shift length is equal to 8 hour is equal to 480 minutes means it is calculated by the in minute. Okay. Same short breaks. Short breaks means two two short breaks in 15 minutes is equal to 30 minutes short break okay meal break is equal to 30 minutes meal break i think fins this 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 meal break is fixed so total time time is total down time down time no sorry down time is a 47 minutes okay this is short break uh, short break means a tea break you can say and meal break you can lunch or dinner so total 60 minutes is there and 7 47 minutes is down time the ideal run rate 70 pieces per minute means it is producing 60 pieces in one minute okay the total pieces if you are calculating this one 19271 in 8 hour shift okay and the reject pieces is 423 so let's come into the formula because this this will be helpful for the government. so first of all we have to calculate calculate the uh, availability so for the availability what is the formula of availability you see here first then i will come back so for calculating the availability we required operating time divided plant production down time plant production time so what is the operating time operating time is equal to running hour minus down time see here plant production time first of all he is taking plant production time this is actual production time for 20 minutes okay and operating time will be plant production time plant production time is 420 minus down time down time is 47 minutes okay so op then operating time what is the 373 minutes is operating time okay because lunch tea break is already minus so you understand plant production time is like this and operating time is 373 and we talk about goods pieces good pieces mean total pieces producing 19271 and the reject pieces is 423 okay the minus calculation is 18848 okay, this is the balance so first of all we calculate availability for availability operate time operate time we calculated 373 here 373 minutes divided by 420 minutes divided by 420 is plant production time so it is calculated 0 0.8 so we calculating percentage you remember we calculating in we will calculate this availability as a percentage okay so come come down 
then we could talk about performance the performance is equal to total pieces total pieces means 19271 pieces divide by operating time the operating time is 373 minutes you understand what is the operating time operating time is total time minus break time okay minus downtime so yeah this is this is our 373 minutes so this calculation is good uh, complete and save 60 pieces per minutes you see already here mentioned 60 pieces per minute this is a run rate either you can say cycle time okay come down so by this calculation it came 86 percent now talk about quality good pieces divided by total pieces you see good pieces divided by total pieces which is 97 so finally oe is calculating availability multiply this 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 then it will come with that 74 percent oe so friends i think you need to know how to calculate oe it is very most important things who is working on the production who is working in the maintenance who is working in anywhere in the machines okay so everyone should know how to calculate oe so next video will be for the mtbf mttr like that thank you so much for watching this video we will meet again next for the video